You're watching Fios One News. It's one o'clock. The New York International Air Show takes place this weekend at Stewart International Airport in New Windsor, and there was a sensational preview over the Hudson River. The Red Arrows, Blue Angels, Thunderbirds, and the F-35 Lightning flying in military formation directly over the Statue of Liberty and the Hudson River. For first-person perspective, we turn to File Swan's Jonathan Gordon, who conquered his own personal fear of heights to fly with one of the pilots. This weekend, six planes for the GEICO Skytyping team will perform a precision flying demonstration at the New York International Air Show. And despite my fear of heights, Fios One News sent me to see if I have what it takes to join the team. I'm flying in plane six with my pilot, 23-year skytyping veteran Steve Salmers. He works to get me strapped in. Once we get going, it'll be a lot of fun. And with me fully secured to my parachute. This will give you the confidence in case you have to use it. It's finally time to hit the runway and get ready for takeoff. We immediately jump into formations with planes flying just feet away from us and others overhead reaching heights of 2,000 feet and speeds faster than 150 miles per hour. We get these amazing views of the Hudson River and even the West Point campus. But Steve really tests my stomach when he takes a sharp turn to put two G's of pressure on my body, essentially doubling the normal force against it. After nearly 25 minutes, it's time to head back to Stewart International Airport where we find out just how I did. Great. We were talking the whole time, and as long as you answer, that's all we're looking for. <laughs> the Skytypers will take their World War II era planes out for another practice on Friday before putting on a pair of performances at the air show this weekend. Reporting in New Windsor, Jonathan Gordon, Fios One News.